can I get the tail of the tape again? Showtime D. Croft. I said, D. Croft, what are you doing? He said, dude, I need to get on a walk. I was practicing for four hours. I need to clear the jitters. So some would say the most prepared Madden player in the history of, of Madden. He's probably one of the best players in the world to not have a belt yet. Showtime, this is one of the kids that plays Madden for fun all day, every day. Express CFM, regular CFM, Mutt Seasons, Weekend League, whatever he can play. He's been grinding Madden for the last four or five years. He's in every CFM, every league, everything. So this is his opportunity to pop up. This is by far the biggest game he's played. You see the trophy. That That's a massive trophy. I don't have a trophy that big. But one of these guys will definitely take home that Red Hot Gaming. $20,000 live turn. We are in Oklahoma. What is up with these no, guys? Be super bummer, dude. I had a foul story. What was my story? That I signed that lady's hat? Was that a foul that I signed her hat? Was I supposed to say, no, I don't play for Oklahoma? She didn't know. Dude, I made that family's day saying I was Lane Johnson. Like, I, I made that family's day. Like, let's, let's th think about your life, boys. Do you not remember the first time you met, like, a pro athlete? I do. I boys, I, I can do a lot of things. Lighting is not my, my uh, I don't know what happened between today and yesterday. I don't know, but we're here. Are we in a, I mean, we'll see as we see RPO. But, yeah, so, the, oh, oh, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey, baby, hey, baby. Arakpo? Oh, 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 my God. Showtime. Oh, my God. That's tough. Wow, play of the tournament early from the young. Now, I can't lie, that was tough. That was tough. Now, now, funny story. As I talked about Decroft being here five hours early, when Showtime was asked about why he wasn't here preparing, he said, I don't need preparation, I just ball. And his first play in the Final Four, his first play in the biggest tournament of his life, he pulls that off. That's insane. Didn't lab. You know, he didn't have to lab anything. So we'll see. Dez talked about it in the interview. That Showtime's going to show up here and bring max pressure on Decroft. Will Decroft handle it? I mean, let's be honest. Boy. I mean, the play was great, but, I mean, I do that stuff daily, all right? Let's just be honest here, all right? If you guys want to see replays like that, you can head on over to my TikTok. Literally every other day we're pulling stuff off like that, you know? Not against Decroft. Well, if you go to my YouTube, there's a game against Decroft where I did stuff just like that, you know. You also get to watch me break my controller. Decroft steps up. He gets a couple. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Showtime, it's not about seeing Showtime. It's about his aura. You know, you may not be able to see him in the, in the shadows, in the dark right now, but, you know, he's there. Trust me. He's there. You know. He's like, it's like Assassin's Creed right now with our boy Showtime. He's got the hood up in the dark. Would you want to play against that? No. Here we go, third and two. Motion's out McCaffrey. We've seen Decroft do a lot of that. Okay, okay. Good man up, good defense. Well, he tried it, though. That was a good man up. But And listen, I have a philosophy in my Madden life right now in the last couple years. That when you man people up, I swear it's just a waste of a person. He, they, I, they never guard the guy good. He guarded him as well as he could there. It just got, you know, at the end of the day, he wasn't there. Okay, that are, we've seen a lot of this bubble wide receiver screen RPO. You know, and uh, so there we go. I saw D. Croft really try to win the tackle battle now. On, on offense, I don't even try to win tackle battles. That's where you fumble. 90% of fumbles come when you're trying to win a tackle battle. Another blitz from Showtime, D. Croft. Made the right read, but he's too slow to go right there. Bo Jackson couldn't get that ball out there to the left flat. Bunch to the right. 6-1 defense. Let's see Fred Warner. Another six-man rush. Picked up beautifully right now. Crossing route. Demarius Tom No knockout? What? What are we? Just, I, I'll be honest, man. That, that's bad abilities. <laughs> that's bad abilities. What, like, what are we doing here? Especially in 6-1, I feel like your 4DB should have every knockout. You know, doesn't get a knock out there. Decroft inside the 10. Run to McCaffrey. Oh, good juke by Decroft. Getting in there inside the two. Juked outside there. Two-yard line. Let's see if Showtime learned anything. It has those goal lines. We've seen a lot of goal line stuff action yesterday. 
I always, I always look what play, what players go to here. What's their go to run? Motion out, stretch left. He's got good blocking. Free. That wide receiver needs a raise. Dude, that wide receiver actually mauled. Let's go. Okay, the crowd MVPs are back now. Okay. All right, all right. That's goal line back. That's what it is right there, see? There is a crowd. That's what I'm saying, Jay True. There is a crowd, finally. Finally, there's a crowd. No cap, that 95 Keyshawn Johnson, insane for RPO blocking. Nice. Okay. I, I will tell you, big juke by McCaffrey again. Oh. Oh, okay. D. Croft getting feisty. He's getting feisty. Oh. Okay. He says, time to pass. I'm going to make him pass. Make him pass. Make him pass. That's what he said. Oh, good throw. The sun god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. No time is here, boys. He's putting his mark on the man community. This would be a crazy upset. Yeah, Showtime, not a lot of emotion. You know, not a lot of emotion. I don't, see, I, I – he has more emotion in, like, the Twitch chat and the CFM chats than he does on stage, to be honest. Okay. Okay, the get back, and McFadden's right up out of there. Mm. That's why you play your solos. Another one. Right back, D. Croft. Mmm. Someone explain this March Madness. Put this game in March Madness terms. I feel like D. Croft could be a Gonzaga. I feel like he could be a Gonzaga. They always make a good run. Never won. You know, really solid. You know. Showtime is like, he's like a mid-major. I don't know. He's like, I mean, is Gonzaga not a good comparison for D. Croft? I feel like that's a great comparison. Gonzaga because he's white. Yes. Showtime is Oakland. Murray State. RPO. Make them pass. Make them pass. Oh, my God, Tillman making a play out there on Michael Irvin. No huddles. Now, this is like – I love the juke in this game. I love it. I think it's it adds such good stuff to Madden here. The legal man downfield. Which Bo Jackson is the best version of the quarterback? Well, thanks for your input. But, uh, yeah, I, we're no huddle and juking 15 times on one play. I, I feel a fumble this game. I just smell it. I just smell it. Showtime is just – he has no regard for the football. Ooh. Ooh, good user right there by Ed Reed. D. Croft in a big third and 12. Can't run an RPO or a inside zone on third and 12 unless you're a sicko. So here we go. Motion's out. Christian McCaffrey, bunch strong. Might be double corners. Good read. Getting the ball out to Hey Bay Bay. I mean, he's doing spin moves. Is Showtime the greatest open field player in the world right now? That's a great read. I mean, that's the first read on a play. Blitzes, hits the wheel route. Great quarter. Another inside zone or base. Oh, my goodness. We have seen Decroft run some different defenses in this game, and we'll see, or in this tournament. We'll see if he switches to something run or, or that'll stop the run a little bit better here. Great read, honestly. Oh, my goodness. Might have been knocked out, but that was a quick read. Great play. Third and four here for Showtime. Okay, like I said, he went to he went to quarters here. We'll see if Showtime likes it. What he goes through, motion right to left. We've seen every time he's done that, Vernon Davis has been on a streak. Oh, drag underneath. Hey, bay, bay. Oh, good tackle there. That's a huge tackle inside the 10. Toughest spot to score in Madden inside the 10, and making that tackle is going to make Showtime work down here. Who calls? I would assume D. Croft called that timeout there. 
And that's, uh, that's sometimes what the no huddle will do. You know, like I said, I'm not a no huddler, but sometimes the no huddle will make your opponent waste the timeout. But Decroft calls timeout so he can get into that 6 1 defense. And for me, uh, it's the hardest one to score against here in the uh, inside the 10. Motions Vernon Davis again. Looking cute. That was a wrinkle. A. Yeah, that was an RPO glitch. Keep pound. Who'd you guys bet on in the chat? I don't see a lot of betters. I don't see a lot of betters. RPO made so many people relevant. I mean, you're not. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, I just think about if it wasn't for RPOs, how much more money I would have won this year. You know, I didn't rely on the RPO. You know, I think about it all the time. Made all these kids the RPO. Motion. McCaffrey out right to left. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Brilliant Perry. That's a 3 million coin card right there making plays for Showtime. No, I mean, we've seen Decroft yesterday. He was down 14 nothing. Scored 31 unanswered points. So at any moment, oh, good read right there underneath. At any moment, he could change the playlist. But we learned yesterday he only listens to that, that, that song from, who was the guy, Chat? Don't let it down. Don't let me down, Benny. Benny Bones. Benny Bones, don't let me down. Benson Bone, don't let me down on repeat is actually psycho behavior. Is he going to take this throw? He should. Oh, he's got to get animation. Ooh, knocked out right there by Peanut Tillman. We got a fourth and three for Decroft against the 6 1. Who's in the top right corner? The Assassin's Creed. What's the Assassin's Creed guy name? That's him. That is Showtime, Xbox CFM Lord, Benny Blanco. Yeah, fourth and three, three-man rush. I mean, beautiful defense. Not getting pet. Oh, my God, Arakpo. Oh, he says you can't pass. That's nuts. There it is. I mean, just the absolute bag. See, I, that play is just tough to run against a double Mabel look, and that's what he ran against was a double Mabel look. Ezio, yeah. Good tackle right there by Ed Reed, tackling that Christian McCaffrey card, who already has 43 yards rushing here in the first half. Yeah, Showtime's doing them bad right now. Is this Showtime's opportunity to pop up here? Another RPO from Showtime. Big third and ten right here. Every time he's needed a conversion, he's converted. This hasn't been – he's not been a run merchant because he's making plays in the run. He still has to make a play in the pass when he gets to these third down yards. Just Oh, my God. I think he was nervous on that one. I mean, the running back, I mean, the running back was so open. Let's see if he takes his three here. I would kick a field goal. No, this is this is a good one. What's up with the lighting? I'm, he doesn't want to be in the light. He declined the light. We tried, but he said he wants to be in the shadows, like his gameplay. It, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of emulating his career in Madden right now. He's in the shadows. He's using this opportunity to pop up. It's a metaphor, but none of you guys can really get it. So, I mean, maybe we went too far over the chat's head with him being in the dark. You know, we tried something. We went out there. But, you know, the chat didn't get it. You guys are slow. But, you know, can he pop out? You know, if he makes the finals, he'll be popping out of the light for sure. He might, he might be Batman. More pressure. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, could have been a pick. That's Fred Warner. That's one of the biggest differences in Madden this year compared to the last. Is those guys don't even look for the football this year, dude. Oh, my God. Just double A-gap. Double A-gap nano right there. <laughs> like, I mean, double A-gaps. The 16-year-old is the one in the dark trying to rise up. He's trying to rise up. This is the opportunity. Here we go. Showtime again in that 6-1. Doesn't pinch his line this time. Normally that's a tell in 6-1 how they're playing defense, if they pinch their line or not. Spreads his linebackers too. So if he spreads his linebackers, I would assume he wants them to get out in the coverage faster. Let's call him Shadow. Let's, let's, I, I, we talked about this many a times, how Madden names are really corny now. 
I think Shadow is a cooler name than Showtime. Like, come on, dude. Steps up in the pocket. Beautiful defense and throws it away. What do we think, man? Is Shadow a better name than Showtime with a Y? Anybody that spells time with a Y is definitely lame. Like, anybody that puts a Y in time, that's the lamest thing you can do. I mean, Decroft cannot find a dot right now. I can't lie. This is the worst we've seen them bagged all the tournament. He cannot find a dot. Insane pressure out of that 6 1 defense. William the Fridge Perry is the one really standing out to me as a viewer. He's the one, the defensive tackle on the right side of the field. Big number 72. And you see number 90 there too, Bearmore. Ooh, big seam right there to A Bay Bay. A Bay Bay. Let's see here. I mean, listen, Decroft gets the ball. He can double dip the chip right here. RPO, yes, yeah. Oh, my God, we just need a better team. Peanut Tillman, man, get that guy a contract. Shedded the block and then hit stick the hell out of that RPO. And once again, dude, that's what I need my defensive players to do. We're getting, we're getting It's getting late early here for Decroft. We're going to be under 30 seconds at the snap of this ball. Three-man rush. He's got time. Seed up the middle, A Bay Bay. Ooh, no juke. Right to the middle, beautiful pocket presence from Decroft. Big dot for the Decroft betters. Can he fight? Like I said, yesterday we seen him down 14 nothing. And I'll put this out here, boys. We seen it yesterday. You can't win a game at the end, at the end of the half, but you certainly can lose it. And Showtime is in position here. Three timeouts, 27 seconds. When we look back at this game, this will be a moment we talk about what happens in this 27 seconds. Showtime's thinking points. Decroft's thinking stop. Let's see who gets what they want here. Motion's out. Christian McCaffrey right to left. Uh, uh, good read. Good throw. Great timing. Amon Ross St. Brown right to midfield. Catches the corner route. Good tackle by Decroft there. 22 seconds. It's definitely in scoring territory now. One more play like that would be an easy field goal. Eek. Good feet by Irvin. Out of bounds, too. Jeez. Right down the field, 35-yard line. The man that can't pass makes it look easy. Back-to-back -back plays. Up by three. 17 seconds left here with the ball. 35 yards from pay dirt. Clearly in field goal range now. Can't make a mistake. A lot of pressure from Decroft. Rolls out. Does he go corner route? He does. Ugh, a little bit too much right there. Didn't even need to. But try to be safe right there, catch the ball. Motion's out again. Decroft really bringing the pressure here, trying to get the ball out of his hands. Will route Vernon Davis. Oh, my gosh. I mean, Showtime has been absolutely embarrassing Decroft with the ball in his hands. Actually insane this entire game. He's been putting on a clinic of juke moves left and right. And then we go from 27 seconds. He scores in 22 seconds. Used one timeout on that drive. All right, let's all right. Let's not just start swinging all over it, guys. All right, what happened there? He juke one person, and the other guys all ran into each other like rag dolls. Okay, all right. You guys are swinging on it a little too hard here in the chat. All right. Uh, uh, one second left for Decroft. Can he make a play? Yeah, we've already seen Dez has moved on to the finals. The winner of this game will play Dez in the finals. I mean, that's just, and Decroft's going out the first half like he came into the first half. A little whimper. <clears throat> I mean, I'll be honest. Decroft says Showtime can't pass, but as far as I see, things go better when he passes than when he runs right now. So <clears throat> it might be <laughs> – might start yelling he can't run because right now Showtime's doing everything. Oh, a jerk. That, that was – that had fumble written all over it, but McFadden holds on to the ball. The finals are tonight. After this game, winner of this game, we'll take on Dez for the biggest purse in Red Hot Gaming history. We're giving away over $20,000 this weekend here in Oklahoma. Motion's out McCaffrey again. Oh, he flips right there. That was cute. Add that one to the arsenal. Motion's out McCaffrey again. Here we go. McCaffrey's getting his workout. This is the uh, Kyle Shanahan offense. He's got him. Good play. Can he score there? Kyle Hamilton, can he make the play? A Bay Bay scores again. If
if you guys don't know, D. Croft said one stop. He said one. And, and I mean, he asked if he can onside. When, you know, he decides to kick deep. I would kick deep, too. You got to have some belief in your defense, dude. Maybe, like I said, maybe I'm old, but I've always believed in my defense. I don't like donating people three points. I don't like donating people field goal or field position. Plus, I feel like field, I feel like on side kick should be banned until the fourth quarter. But you know, Daniel Mycroft, the man that was down fourteen nothing yesterday and rattled off. Uh oh, okay. He rattled off thirty one unanswered yesterday. He starts the second half with seven unanswered points. Can Showtime answer him? Another base from Showtime. Another big tackle from D. Croft. Eight carries, 47 yards for McCaffrey. Audible's the trip's tight end. Vernon Davis, a tight end. Hayward Bay, Sam, Sun God, another run. We'll see. Another run. D. Croft again says he can't pass. Make him pass. But, you know, they've been telling me for years, Dollar can't stop the run. Good read. Ooh, under pressure, though. A lot of pressure from D. Croft. Didn't think McCaffrey was – I mean, if you watch the best players in the world here, you'll see some cards that have been out for a long time. DeGroff said that's a hard flat. Showtime. Most is out McCaffrey. He's not running now. Good defense. Beautiful defense. He's got nothing. But, oh! I don't blame him. I don't blame him. You're clicking on that player for the knockout. You're not clicking on him for the pick. You're trying to move that player as close as you can to the receiver to get the knockout. You don't expect the ball flying by his face. Could have been a pick, but I understand why it wasn't. We got a fourth and two here, a big one. Would a man trust the RPO? Ooh, got him playing run. And that's what the run does. They've been telling me for years that's what the run does. You know, you get your opponent playing the run. Middle of the field is wide open. You blitz everybody. Oh, oh. Good defense here. Waiting for the delay route. Gives up on it. Of course, why would he ever get intentional grounding? Chat, only me and you get intentional grounding there. Third and five. Big down. Okay, okay, good lurk. Oh, 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 could have been a pick. Fourth and five. He could take three here, or he could go for it. This could be the turntable of the game. This could be it right here, boys. Fourth and five. Showtime has been a Durham, uh, Durham merchant. Fourth and five. D. Crawl bringing a little pressure. Hit him. Oh, and he gets knockout. <clears throat> It's a lot of energy from the crowd right now. A lot of energy. I can't lie. I see some MVPs out there. Some awards will be given away. We might shoot some T-shirts into the crowd right now. They're bringing the energy this game. The turns have been tabled. Oh, my God. Another A-gap. I mean, 6-1 is 6-1 in this game. I'll tell you that. As we see, number 25. Who? Xavier Collins, number 25? Yeah. Gets in there for the big play. Showtime. Motions out McCaffrey. Oh, my goodness. Last second block there. Gets to the Bay Bay. Oh, a little bit too much dip on his chip right there for D. Croft on the back two. Doesn't get it done. John Beast wants the T-shirt. Okay, he's got time here. He's got time. Yeah, he's not really knocked out. Feed. Oh, a great animation. D. Croft, an absolute seed. Beautiful animation in front of Tariq Woolen. Toe taps. I will tell you, D. Croft leaves the league and talking to himself. I will tell you that. He is pure. Like, when he when he starts talking to himself, it's over for the other player. I'm telling you, the more he talks to himself, the better he plays. He should start every game just talking to himself. He waits until the, the second, third quarter to start talking to himself. 
He didn't change the playlist. He's listening to Let Me Down by Barry, Barry, who? Barry Bones? Yeah. He, will he start this with RPO? Herman Boone. Get him in passing situations. Dude, anybody that says passing situations is an insane nerd. Not, that's dead. Knockout. Yup, knockout. De Devontae Adams. I've been telling you guys for months. Devontae Adams is the best player in the game. Got him out there at corner. Mid zone, deep zone, third and 11 here for showtime. Is he going to fold? Is he going to stand up for himself here? Third and 11. Motion, Vernon Davis, right to left. He's cooking. Boom! Oh, Ed Reed gets the big stop. Fourth and 11. Fourth and 11 for his life. A man that was up by 10 is up against it now. Quick snaps. Seed. Oh, what an animation right in front of Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton turns his hips, throws that seam in there, and Showtime gets to breathe a sigh of relief back to the base. But there he is, Sauce Gardner, wrapping up Christian McCaffrey. No huddles, second and ten. Audibles to the trips. Decroft going to the mana line. That helps stop the RPO over there on the left. Showtime running a play-action play. Everybody in the middle of the field. Great use, great defense. That's perfect defense. Perfect defense. Carl Office makes a sack, and, and Decroft is just all over Showtime right now. He's got nothing. Third and 12. He's got to find something out here. Goes the verts. He's all over him. He's all over him. Hit again another fourth and long, and Showtime's looking shaky. Some say this was Showtime's opportunity to come out of the dark, but right now the sun is setting on that dream. Fourth and 12, 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. He just converted a fourth and long. Here's another fourth and long. Michael Irvin motioned in. Tight split from Michael Irvin on the left. Sends the pressure again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. He's going for an overthrow. Overthrow. Oh, he got it. Michael Irvin. <laughs> he rolls into the end zone. What a read. What a read. As the linebacker was barreling down. The linebacker was barreling down. We see that motion in, gets a tight split right there, able to hit that seam right up the middle. Beautiful touch, beautiful pass by Showtime. What a throw over the top. That's what you love to see. Uh-oh, McFadden already has one return. Hmm. This, I mean, this is one for the ages here, boys. 38 to 35 here. Decroft down by three, getting the ball back. Three man rush from Showtime. He's glitched, won't get any pressure here. He's going to have all day. He sends another person. Nothing doing for the Croft, man. I mean, 6 1 is annoying to play against. There's no other way to put it. It really is. Sometimes you're getting A gap, sometimes you have all day, and there's everybody in coverage. I mean, that's how it works. Motion's out McCaffrey again. Let's see if Decroft can finally start dialing up some dots here. Nope, that time he gets shedded by William the Fridge Perry. Two sacks on the day for the Fridge. Would you guys call Fridge a Chicago Bear or a Philadelphia Eagle? I would call him an Eagle, but, you know, it's been a debate. Here we go. Fourth quarter starts. I saw no fours in the crowd and no fours in the chat. Man, we are falling apart at the seams here. Big rush right there. Decroft makes a good read. Good juke, but he trips out. He stays on his feet. Big down here. Fourth and two. What does Decroft dial up here? Going to the bunch. McCaffrey once again goes out wide. Two-man rush. One-man rush with contains in the contain. Who is it? None other than the man, the myth, the legend. Christian Bearmore. Another play. Just the contain right there. Disengaged. Decroft stepped up a little bit too far. Let the contain grab him on fourth and two. And Showtime has an opportunity to, to put his stamp on the game here with a big drive. Good juke right there. But Kyle Hamilton's there to wrap him up with Derwin James there on the outside. No huddles right to the line, man. This is where you'd love to see the young kid use as much of this clock as possible, too. Goes with an RPO. Snaps the ball at 14 seconds because why not? It doesn't really matter that much. Third and 11. No huddles again. 
I mean, he's going to have to cook a dot here. Sends the all-out pressure. Good read, good throw, but Sauce Gardner with the knockout. See, no, that's just, this is a great call to kick. The crowd, the crowd is urging on Showtime to go for this. This is a great field goal. No, this is a great field goal because now D. Croft has to play perfect here. He has to. Because if he scores a touchdown, Showtime can win with the field goal. That's why that's a beautiful field goal. You kick that 10 out of 10 times. I don't know. And he kicks the ball out of bounds to try to avoid D. Croft milking the whole clock here. I mean, some would say that's a genius move, but I, I really just don't think it makes that big of a difference. Yeah, I mean, he at the end of the day, he has to score a touchdown. You just kind of help them a little bit. But, you know, these kids, you know, fridge again. Is he going to trust this? Get at your feet in. Doesn't even matter. First down, right to the 26-yard line anyway. Now we're to the point where, like, D. Croft almost got to try to score fast, honestly. That was a big play, so none of it matters anymore. Showtime 100% will get the ball back. So, yeah, that's why you kicked that field goal. Isn't Showtime's in good position here. Oh, up out of bounds. Decroft smart here. Decroft almost has to play for his next possession, not this possession as well. Yet, that's what happens when you're losing. You have to do too much. But, I mean, he's been in these positions before. Quick snaps here, almost gets a double A gap, but they get nano detected. It's insane. The fridge, the fridge is actually on one this game. How many coins is that fridge Perry going for, boys? Three million right now. He's actually, is he's putting up a three million coin card performance. Down by six here, D. Croft. Feet. Ooh, tough animation there. Wanted that one on the outside, the number twelve. Audibles again. A lot of times these, these guys out here will play no deep blues down here and just do a purple and a flat, and I think that's what he tried to catch them doing earlier. Flat route again. Big fight right there from number 18. I don't know if that's Damaris Thomas, Justin Jefferson. Damaris Thomas it looks like. But here we go. Audibles to the trips. Fourth and two. Your tournament life, dude. You don't get this, you're up against it. You got to have your best dot here. And trips is always the best dot inside the five. Tight end, beautiful throw, beautiful pass. Man, listen, if there's one route I've given up more than anything, it's that tight end post over the middle. D. Croft's going to take a one-point lead here. This is tough. He's in a tough spot. Showtime. We've seen him run the ball. We've seen him run the RPOs. We've seen him come up with big pass plays most of the time when he needs one. Right now he's going to need some expert clock management. And this is an opportunity where if you're Decroft, you're sending six, eight, five, ten people at him. You have to play super aggressive defense, I hear I think here. You can't let him run the ball at all. That's your number one stop. You gotta stop the run one hundred percent right here. Good tackles right there from Charles Woodson. Makes the tackle on the slot right there. Four yards. I mean, if you're showtime, that's what you want. You get four yards. They taught me that in Pee Wee too. Four yards every play will definitely win you the game. Uh-oh, beautiful blocks on the RPO, stay in bounds. I mean, right now you have to come out with your best run defense if you're Decroft. You know, you have to just come up with something that's going to stop the run here. Oh, man, tackles. Oh, my, the football was exposed right there. Christian McCaffrey holding the ball over his head. But he picks up nothing there. We're going to a two-minute warning. Just that fast was a two-minute warning, so... These next couple plays will tell the story of this one, boys, and decide who makes the finals to play Dez tonight for their share of $20,000. All out blitz. Quick pass, Vernon Davis. First down, that's okay if you're Decroft. You got it. This set of downs is everything right here. He might win it on a field goal. The chat is really into this one. Here we go. Motion right to left. He's in the 6 1. And he gets a delay game playing with motions. That is actually crucial mistake right there from the young kid. I will see if he can stop the run out of this here. Good sheds, good pressure. Six and one's going to do it. D. Croft deciding not to use a timeout there. I mean, I guess he's not in field goal range yet. We'll see how they man. And he he doesn't milk the clock that well right there. Great you tackle by D. Croft. Just like I I don't know. If I was Showtime, I would have milked that clock all as much as I could right there. But 
Who knows? Steve Croft with a huge tackle right there. Anticipated the juke and clicked on. That's the biggest skill gap. Quick snap again. Fourth and inches. Yeah, that was a tough one. <sighs> Fourth and inches here. Christian Barrymore, where are you? We'll see what he does. D. Croft has one timeout left. Fourth and inches. He's been running the ball well all day. Does he rely on a base right here? Does he do? You know D. Croft is blitzing the stop base. Oh, he doesn't get the knockout there. So close to the knockout. Doesn't get it back-to-back -back plays. Mid zone fails him on back-to-back -back plays, and Showtime's going to be able to run the clock out here. Now, we did notice Showtime did not – oh, Showtime did – what? Showtime did not have the kicking ability yesterday. He did not – I swear, yeah, he made a non-ice field goal or an ice field goal yesterday. But Decroft obviously did not have that in the scouting report and somehow wastes his last time out for nothing. But, you know, and that's going to be GG's because he's going to make an easy field goal now. Bearmore, Barmore, Bearmore. That was a great game. That was an epic one. Yeah, I would I would have saved my time out there for the for the ice. Or sometimes you can call a timeout at like seven seconds or six, make them think about it, you know. Or you can call a timeout at five seconds because then maybe you'll have a second for a kick return. We'll see. The biggest kick of Showtime's life. Huh? Oh, oh! And he makes it down the middle, splits the cheeks. No ditty. And our boy gets the dub out of the shadows into the light. What a guy. What a guy. Love to see it. Love to see it out of the kid. Gets the dub. Huge win for Showtime. is obviously the biggest game of Matt he's ever played. Had some adversity. Had a whole quarter where he looked bad. He had multiple fourth downs. Came up with huge, huge plays. Was able to move on to the finals. Put the headset on, dude, because, I mean, I, I mean, listen. You said you were working on your interview skills. Yeah, I did Now, I was told that you had no preparation. You said, I'm just going to go out there and ball. Was that your response to as far as preparation is concerned? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I never I never uh, prepared before games. I just play. You never prepared? Talk about the plays you were able to make in the open field, man. I mean, you had him looking like a fool every time you had the football. Yeah, I mean, he just did not attack on me. I don't know. He couldn't tackle you? Yeah. Okay. Now, did you hear him chirping at you about how you couldn't pass and how you weren't yeah, good? Yeah, but I actually got ball? more stops than him, so. You got more stops than him? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's cool, man. Mmm. See? No, I'm good. No, I'm mm. good, man. See? See, now, that's when you know you're doing well, when you have him in the crowd, like, with that salt just, like, over them. And they yeah, just he's can't. never beat me in his career. I mean. He's never beat you? Yeah. So, I, it's fun, funny story. No, this is, this is the first time that you, one player has beat another player twice in the same tournament, right? Yeah, I did it twice. You beat him twice in the same tournament. Yep. That's crazy. Unprecedented how one man could lose to a player, get back into the tournament, and then lose to the same player again. You know, but there it is. And, you know, he still has a lot of things to say about you. But now you have an opportunity to quiet everybody. Do you think this is your opportunity to really put your name out there in the man world? Yeah. I know you've been grinding, capping for years about how good you were, but now you're finally popping up. Talk yeah, about now that. I'm playing a pretty decent player, I think. This will show how good I am. This will show? I mean, you've shown already how good you are, man. That game, every time you need a dot, you came up with a huge dot. Uh, even when it, big 4th and 12s, 4th and 11s, you just, yeah. I mean, shoot, they were tough plays and you came up with the right ones. He told me to pass and I was like 16 for 23, 6 touchdowns, 500 mm. yards. Mm. I mean, yeah, I mean, that was tough, but here you go. Now you're playing Dez. Have you played Dez this year? A few times. Yeah, does, yeah. he's got your number. We go back and forth. Back and forth. Okay, yeah. so hopefully the pendulum swings back in your favor here in the finals. Now, that was the biggest game Matt you ever played. Now you about to play the Another biggest one. game of your life in the finals. Now, do yeah. You, any more pressure? Do you, do you, you're comfortable no, now. I'm good now. I'm not nervous at all. You're good now. Okay, there it is. So I mean, you got the entire man community watching you right now. Is there anything you want to say before this final game here for the trophy? Just watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Okay, there it is. You have a message. Watch this. There it is. Showtime. Playing in the finals, his biggest game of his life. He showed up, beat D. Croft twice in the same tournament. I mean, I've never done that. Henry's never done that. Beat the same person in a single elimination tournament. Didn't think it was possible until now. Boom. Showtime beat D. Croft twice.
came up with huge plays, man. As much as a man couldn't pass, to come up with fourth and 11s, fourth and eights, fourth and six, the big fourth and inches conversion there at the end. I mean, just made the right calls. Was was up three, kicked the field goal to go up six in that fourth quarter, man. That's a huge part of that game. Him able to do that was, was actually huge, and that's what enabled him to get that field goal there at the end to get the dub. 